Welcome back to this special edition of The Cosmic Companion. I am James G. Maynard. This week, we're diving into the science and history behind our first feature-length film, The Wizard and the Scholar, or A Rapscallion Runs Amok in Rye. Set in the year 1156, this film blends fantasy, adventure, and historical drama, along with real-life science and history told through the magic of storytelling. Heads up, spoilers ahead. The old spoiler alerty. Now, if you're feeling adventurous, stay tuned. For the spoiler averse among you, I don't know, may consider a cozy retreat in your sensory deprivation. Now, the idea for this film sparked when I took an online online magic class. Now, I'm no magician, but I learned a few tricks and I began to wonder, what if wizards in the Middle Ages were actually just clever stage magicians? And what if these wizards, fully aware of their lack of supernatural powers, had to face a dark and mysterious threat? This concept is set against the rich backdrop of the mid-12th century, a fascinating era in English history, made even more special with the legendary tales of Robin Hood. Act 1. The Role of the Wizard now, uh, in Arthurian legends, uh, the enigmatic Morgan Le Fay, usually depicted as half-sister to King Arthur, is a master manipulator of Camelot's fate. In our film, Morgan subtly influences our hero's destiny centuries after her time. Now, in an age when belief in magic was widespread, those claiming magical powers often held significant sway, uh, potentially as trusted advisors to political leaders. Alara, a young, newly appointed wizard in our film, is a memory keeper, possessing what we would today call a photographic memory. Act 2. Science in the 12th century. Now, during Europe's near 1,000 year intellectual stagnation, uh, scientific knowledge from ancient Greece and the Library of Alexandria was preserved and expanded upon uh, in the Middle East. By the 11th and 12th century, science thrived in China, with some of this knowledge reaching Europe via the Silk Road. The Wizard and the Scholar, set in 1156, uh, showcases Europe's scientific awakening after a long slumber. Uh, one of our main characters, Adelaide, hails from Granada, which is now in what's now Spain. Her travels around the Mediterranean and to Constantinople, a Silk Road endpoint, arm her with the scientific knowledge crucial for her and Alara to navigate enormous challenges and survive great threats. Uh, throughout, we've strived through for historical and scientific accuracy. Uh, for instance, we depict a, a window's edges sparkling in gold uh, based on real, a powder mixture developed by Chinese scientists uh, akin to modern sparklers. I, Alara, wielder of ancient magics and favored by the gods, have come to end this strife. Such a spectacle learned by Adelaide on her travels would have been remarkable in 12th century England. Remarkable. A fictionalized lunar eclipse plays a pivotal role in our plot, adding a touch of celestial wonder to our narrative. The Wizard and the Scholar combines magical storytelling with historical and scientific authenticity, offering a unique glimpse into one, what is one of the most intriguing periods in English history. So join us on this enchanting journey through the past where magic and science intertwine in a tale of adventure and discovery. Magic is a special gift, but it is more than that. It is the study of nature. Wizards such as myself have magnificent powers, but the energy into which we tap is all around us.
Act 3. Historical Context uh, 12th century England was a land of stark contrasts, rich in history and cultural transformations. Nobles lived comfortably in castles and manors, while most peasants faced tedious labor. The anarchy, which lasted 18 years between 1135 and 1153, uh, was a civil war between King Stephen and Empress Matilda which afflicted England with sieges and famines until about three years before the opening of our film. These real-world events helped shape Lord Robert's development as the main antagonist, while also enriching the story with genuine historical conflict. Act 4. Mythology and Folklore in 12th century England, myths, legends, folklore are all integral to everyday life. Religion intertwined with folklore, with people often swayed by tales of saints, miracles, and the supernatural. Our movie explores the intricate web of mythology featuring the iconic figure of Robin Hood. Now, while this timeless character is likely forged from stories made up from the lives of several people, the legendary Robin Hood stands as a symbol of defiance against oppression and as a champion of justice. Incorporating Robin Hood into our narrative, we connect history with myth, uh, offering a character who may be partly mythical, but personifies the ethos of an era. Act 5. Denouement or Conclusion The Wizard and the Scholar is a unique fusion of science, history, and storytelling set against the backdrop of 12th century England. We explore the complexities of medieval life, histories, mythos, and science. Our film weaves these elements, creating a narrative that is both educational and entertaining. Hear ye, hear ye. Gather round, for I, Robin Hood, bring joyous tidings. On October 26th, as the leaves turn gold and All Hallows' Eve draws near, prepare thyselves for the grand unveiling of the Wizard and the Scholar. Tis the perfect time, coinciding with none other than International Robin Hood Day. How fitting, is it not? Join me on this thrilling escapade, delve into the enchanting realm of medieval England, and witness the wondrous dance of history, science, and mythology. Adventure awaits, my friends. Check out The Cosmic Companion and The Wizard and the Scholar at thecosmiccompanion.com or over at thecosmiccompanion.net. We are most definitely there. Probably. Clear skies. Pretty, my dear Adelaide, is this just there? Your thoughts so handsome, are you? Like a ship set sail. Marry a lady and tell us what we've made. More or less, tell our words to our sweet Adelaide. Marianne, Marianne. 